Welcome you all in this educational video of NIOS. We are doing subject library science. This is for senior secondary level. This is lesson number two. You can see the name of the lesson on screen. In this lesson, we will be understanding different types of libraries and information centers. This video is part 11. Till now, we already have done videos till video number 10. In this video, we will be doing question answers. Question 1. Give the reasons for categorizing the libraries. The categorization of libraries emerged due to increasing numbers of users, enormous number of information resources in all disciplines, and demands for varied kinds of information. The resources of different disciplines are available in the libraries. We can say that the number of subjects are not limited, they are unlimited. And there is also demand for different kinds of information. So accordingly, we categorize the disciplines so that we can keep our books. Question 2. What are the different types of libraries identified to meet the requirements of users? The four types of libraries identified to meet the requirements of the users are the first one is academic libraries, the second one is special libraries, the third one is public libraries and fourth one is national libraries. So these four kinds of libraries are the different kinds of libraries identified. Question 3. What are the primary objectives of a school library? The objectives of school library are to awaken and foster interest in reading books. to create love for books, to promote reading habits, and to inculcate communication skills. Question 4. Briefly, Enumerate the functions of a public library as mentioned in the UNESCO Public Library Manifesto. The functions of a public library as given in the UNESCO Manifesto for public libraries are summarized below and it has to serve as these following four points which are shown on screen. The first point is Center for Information. The second point is Center for Self-Education 
and the third point is center for culture and the fourth point is center for local cultural materials Question 5 Why is display of new books important for school children? To motivate children to browse through new books and to raise their awareness about new kinds of books in different areas. Question 6. Who are the users of university library? A large number of students, MPhil and PhD students, postdoctoral research scholars, members of the various academic and executive bodies and the management, administrative and professional staff of the university are the users of the university library. Question 7. How is a spatial library different from a national library? A spatial library acquires spatial collection and renders specialized information and documentation services to specialized users whereas a national library acquires all types of collection in all languages and provides general to specialized services to all needy users. Thank you.